I'm going to read an excerpt from uh, Paul Foster Case, uh, taken from the Oracle of the Tarot, uh, subtitled, A Course on Tarot Divination. And um, it's a pretty ominous, uh, ominous uh, paragraph and uh, has a lot to do with uh, the respect of div the, the divination arts and um, occult studies. I think that's missing a lot these days. Um, some people play around with this like it's a game. So I'm going to read you what, uh, some of what uh, Case had to say about it. He starts out here, he says, um, As you begin to study divination, bear in mind that it is not meant to satisfy your own or another's idle curiosity about the future. Take the work seriously. What you are about to learn is a method whereby you may bring to bear upon your own problems and upon the problems of those who consult you, the light of the superconscious knowledge of past, present, and future, which is characteristic of mental action of the one life power. To deal lightly with this is truly profane the most sacred mysteries and the penalty for such profanation is inevitable. He goes on to say, he who debases tarot to mere fortune telling will rob himself of whatever insight he may possess. He will deceive himself and others by false visions and may open the door to dangerous obsession by inimical astral entities. Yeah, yeah. See, this is, just, you know, this is not a game. This is not a game. And I find this thread of uh, dark entities, of, of uh, maybe demons, jinn, whatever, is a common thread throughout uh, religious traditions throughout the ages and, uh, and uh, various spiritual paths. Um, so it's not a game. It's not a game. It needs to be treated with respect. And, um, and, and, and integrity and honor and, um, and you know, there's just no shortcuts. There's no shortcuts. It takes time to study and, um, and, 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 and learn about the self, you, the real you, not the body necessarily, although it is connected, but, but the inner deepest inner self. That's what it's about for me. That's why I always talk about inner tarot, because that's what it's about for me. Um, you know, if you can't look around the world today and see that there is a struggle between good and evil or light and darkness, then I don't know where you've been. I don't know where you've been. You must be curled up somewhere high or drunk or something and just are oblivious. But uh, it's definitely a reality. It's going on. It's been going on. And uh, right now we're, we're in a period of escalation globally, in case you haven't noticed. And um, it's enough to, to freak a lot of people out and depress a lot of people. Um, in, in my case, it's even caused an existential crisis or a dark night of the soul episode at times in the past few years um, you know but I can assure you that if you hang in there where you need to hang in there and let go where you need to let go you can make it through if I can make it through anybody can make it through um, and if you have help with some some good friends and loved ones that's even better because there's nothing nothing more healing 
and to be around loved ones. You know, whether it's your children, your grandchildren, your your spouse or whatever, you know, a good strong group of friends to hang around with and uh, you know, whether in my case it's a lot of times it's musicians and you know, other band members. But uh and, you know, try not to isolate if you're going through that. You know, if you're if you're freaking if you're getting a little freaked out by what's going on here. Um so yeah, it can, it's definitely affecting a lot of us, um, especially if you're more tuned in. I, and I don't say that to be like a you know a high you know on some high horse or anything, but if you're tuned in to spiritual things or you have a a a, 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 a devotional life, you'll you'll you, you're probably noticing this more than people that don't. And again, I don't say that in any arrogant sense, because if you're called to this, you're called to this. It's it's nothing that you know I necessarily ask for, and I don't think that a lot of us do. I think it's something that's put upon us by a power greater than ourselves, and it's up to us to answer that call and be authentic. And uh, that's a real challenge to be authentic these days. At least it is for me. Um, but there's nothing more rewarding than realizing my purpose and abiding within that purpose with everything that I have. And when I fall short, I can, uh, I can call upon, uh, for lack of better terms in English, God, uh, to help me to maintain that purpose and that potential and that authenticity and that individuation. So, I'm just going to leave you with that. I enjoyed uh, the reading, and um, anybody that's interested in the uh, divination arts or occult studies, um, check it out. It's the Oracle of the Tarot, a course on tarot divination by Paul Foster Case, and it's available online. All you got to do is look around, and you can drop a PDF on your computer uh, and file it away. It's uh, So far, it's been a very good read for anybody that's interested in um tarot or the divination arts in general or just uh, metaphysical uh, stuff so anyway I hope you're having a wonderful day um, peace blessings love all that good stuff we need it and we need it see ya